welcome to Knight's Link. You are you are the Knight's Link. Traverse abandoned roads and cover under cover of night. Deliver cassette tapes in a post-apocalyptic world and atmosphere retro 3D horror adventure. Around 40 minutes long. By no noise minded. It looks like an interesting game. You can get on Steam or itch.io, I think. But yeah, it looked interesting. Retro, you know, I, I love this kind of shit, but, uh, yeah, we're just getting into it. It does not have a save feature, huh? Well, even more reason. It'll be a full, long episode, unless... or two-part series. We'll see. I. Seventy-six, eighty-eight, and ninety-six. Alright. So we're delivering the cassettes or something? Seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five. And seventy-six. Are you them? You got the stuff. What are you waiting for? Give it here. Looks kind of satanic, but okay. I've been waiting for all of week for this. You can actually hear their ang- You can actually hear Maybe I don't need to voice over them. They're actually speaking English. It's like whether or not you're trying to, like, say... As a person doing commentary, you have to wonder, do I give commentary to a person like, say, uh, Kenny from South Park? But the more you listen to Kenny, the more you actually realize he is speaking English, it's just really muffled, but everything Kenny says is actually words you can hear and understand. It's just, maybe the less experienced you are to listening to Kenny from South Park, uh, the more it just sounds like gibberish. But, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll just not voice over, since they are speaking English, you just have to listen. 88, 96, alright. Oh, I can sprint a little bit. 88. I wonder if there's anything we can find. I don't know if there's, like... I mean, 88. We should... I'm gonna assume it's on this floor. 82. I'm not sure if there's secret endings in this game. Something I'd have to think about. 88. Who's this? It's you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And then, and then, and then. Sound doing... Free. That's the end then. No matter. There's a first symptom to learn about business for no matter some people. Damn, bro. It's kind of rude, even for a guy that sounds like they have a British accent beyond their. Wait, are you Keanu Reeves? He might be Keanu Reeves. Maybe, maybe. Slightly. Hmm. Anyways. Um, 96. I'm not sure if I should look at the achievements just to see if there's alternate endings and things I should look for, like side things, secret things. I'm not sure. Good double check. There are achievements. There are hidden achievements. Reach the end. Hmm, there might be three endings, based on the vagueness of the achievements. We'll have to find out, I guess, after we beat the game once, maybe. Not even a thank you.
what is it we're doing with these empty cassette tapes? putting on this. I'm assuming, besides the fact that this needs to be powered, unless it's powered by, you know, like, D batteries or AA batteries, I'm assuming this cord is meant to represent a microphone of something basically feeding information onto these tapes. What? Who knows? We don't have a play button. I mean, the play it's recording and playing at the exact same time. Interesting. This style reminds me of a different game I played. I'm gonna assume it's by the same developer. Hmm. Yeah, really, I'm gonna have to double check. I swear to god I played something by this developer. It's got this exact same feeling. Uh, what was it called? Para something? Paratopic. Who made Paratopic? It really makes me think of Paratopic. No. It's not by the same... The game Paratopic was something I played a long while ago, but it's like really similar. Paratopic also had like segments where you had story, talked to people, did something, and then went on the road as a separation or intermission of sequences. I wonder if this was inspired by Paratopic in any way, which was made apparently by the developer uh, Arbitrary Metric, but this really gives me similar vibes. Apparently someone different. Interesting. Oh, wow. There's a lot more people wanting it. Also, wasn't 76 the same person? They're wanting more? Did you really like the last stuff, man? Let's have a bang. Put your hand in the glass. They just sound desperate for it, though. Yeah. Well, at least this you have... Bad, bad, bad. The thing that I said, man. That's how you stole out of that sense. Hmm. I'm gonna assume it's something like Dead Space... Occulted... <laughs> occult stuff, I don't know. 83. The more you listen, the more something changes you. 83, you're a new person. Now that is horrible sounding. It's really hard to use. Yeah, totally, totally. Totally. Oh, her voice is ear rape to me. Ugh. 85. Ne next door neighbor. Okay. This person sounds rather... What's the word I'm looking for? Either monotone or... Sanguine is the word I was going for. Mellow. Eh, whatever. 88. Same person as the last time. God. I hate this person. The rudeness. That makes me just say, fuck you. How about now? What if I don't? I'll do you last. You're gonna get even more late. I'm gonna go to the next person. Fuck them. I hate that kind of rudeness. The one with the baby. Different person? Sweetie. 
Yeah, exactly. Except for 88. Hmm. Okay, same person. Don't neglect the baby now, okay? Just because you got these tapes? I'm assuming she is. The baby's there for a reason. But yeah, not everyone is nice. Do you want do you want one? Alright, give it to the rude piece of shit. The same as last time. But who am I doing this for? Who's the one pulling the strings is what I wanna know. So I know deep down games like this or narratives like this. You may never find out what's truly going on, it'll be up to interpretation. But I am hungry to want to know... Who am I doing this for? Who am I serving? What are on the tapes? Everything's up to interpretation. What if I did something else? What if I... I guess the pile can't be touched anymore. It was implied before that they were other tapes, but... I can control the bike very... Wait, that guy. The guy that's smoking that made me think of Keanu Reeves. Is this place looking a little more dilapidated, or is it just me? I wonder if there are people that I could knock on the door and... then maybe I'd get a response. Because uh, looking at the achievement-wise, me thinking of, hey, what if... Uh, different achievements, because reach the end achievement is already achieved by 80% of people, right? Steam achievement-wise. The other two achievements that exist is Alone Together, no description, aka no spoilers, and Don't Be a Stranger, in what looks like alien font. And they are only achieved by 7.3% and 2.9%, which is a stark difference compared to basically what they're saying, the regular ending is achieved basically by everyone, and the other two achievements are likely different endings, but not too many people get them or know how to get them or have tried to get them. So we had to think in terms of, if this game is 40 minutes long, let's try to get something that's one of the different endings that not many people will ever see or get to, except for possibly YouTubers or streamers, or thorough players like me. But I'm not sure how it's achieved, so what I'm going to do, I will knock on every door, just to see if we get a response that's not just this, see if there's anything abnormal that happens, that we can note, and on our way, of course, doing our deliveries proper. There's many doors. The tape or your mind? Hmm. Sleep is good though, man. Quite the addiction. Alright, the next door is 83. Maybe a new... A new customer, maybe. But I'll knock on every door and see if there's a response. And if not, then I'm just doing a bunch of skipping before I get reach the necessary doors. Wait. Yeah, that dude. That dude has to have some kind of significance. Alright, 83. The... Oh, that, yeah, that... Horrible, horrible voice. God. 
such a horrible, horrible voice in translation. It's just... <laughs> but it's really horrible. At least in my ears. That... 84? No. Because we can at least determine if we're thinking about... Ah, this guy, yeah. I'll have to finish my train of thought after. Who says I sleep? Sounds like changed. Sounds like Furry's wet dream. As I was going, uh, if I'm going to be proceeding to try to be thorough and get all the endings, possibly, then it'd be depending on the variables that I see possible. One of them just being the doors. Do I have to knock on a specific door on a specific stage, like part one, part two, part three, and however many parts there are, do I knock on any of the other doors that are not, not on my list in order to activate one of the different achievements? Is one variable. The rest will be, be de <laughs> will be based on whether or not I see an option available throughout the rest of the game in the future, and a timeline of events that I am unaware of currently. Because I always think about variables of variables of variables of variables of variables when I'm playing games. Knock knock. All right, the rude douche I hope dies. <laughs> It can be nice. Not, not my pride, but... It's just your lack of... Okay. So you're a narcissist. Assuming there will become some kind of godlike being who is no longer expendable is quite the pipe dream of someone realizing his own mortality and is so afraid they wrap themselves up in a superiority complex just to hide their inferiority complex. I hate those kinds of humans. You do not hurt my pride. You just annoy me. You disappoint me. You bother me with your lack of kindness or your lack of gratitude. Three. Depends on where Keanu Reeves went, if he went in the baby room or if he went in a different one, which is more reason why we had to find out if he went somewhere else. It depends too if he went in the door and I have to knock multiple times. Maybe knock once, wait. Okay, we're not going in that one yet. Did Keanu Reeves go in there? Alright, Keanu Reeves. Did he go in this room and then why? Where is... Is this Fear the baby? Such a tiny little apartment. Oh, I have it with me now. It's also smoky. Huh. Hmm. All right.
Hmm. Why would the baby be a sphere and speak a strange language? Not sure. I guess I have a choice I could run something over possibly during this intersection, maybe. Otherwise, it'd be strange to... Strange for the reason of why would I have moderate control over that. It's either I have to avoid something, or I'd have to hit something. The offering... They're babies? It depends on what these are, if they're not even technically considered a baby or not. But, alright. I'll just try to give tapes to everyone. No? All the numbers were people that didn't understand it? I know... I know you are 76. No? I'm... Not sure. Doors that I haven't even gone to. I'm assuming if they're doing this, then... They've finished the ritual, so to speak, maybe? Or just my... Is it, or it's just my mind changing. Not sure. But I don't think I can do anything with these people. No one's accepting the tapes, or they don't need the tapes. But you're perfectly fine. Who are you? Okay, I can talk to him. We won't yet, then. I'm assuming people would actually talk to him first. But that door over there is open. Which do we do? Maybe talking to him doesn't speed up or progress the game. But maybe it does, and then going over there will not be able to happen. We'll see. If we talk to him and then we can go over there, good. If it progresses the game, that means that's a variable we at least can acknowledge for next time. You've really done it this time, haven't you? Nothing more? Alright. Wait... here? Should I leave? I want to at least see what's happening, but I don't know if leaving would save me, or if I meant to drop. No, I can't drop. Giant things sprouting, alright. Not even on my bike for whatever reason.
I'm getting closer and closer. I wonder if I keep moving forward if it means something different. Ha! Alone. So that was the first and only achievement. So then, alone together and don't be a stranger. Possibly these achievements are... Like, they did say in the store page, and I can double check just to show. Hang on. Hmm. Because they said the game is 40 minutes long, for instance. But I beat that basically in relatively 20 minutes, relatively 25 minutes more accurately. But if they said 40 minutes in one sitting... Oh, let's see. The playthrough takes... Merges PlayStation 1 era graphics with cinematic aesthetics to deliver a harrowing story of fear, isolation, and utter hopelessness. Although a playthrough takes 20 to 30 minutes to conclude, the game's imagery and mysteries will stay with you longer. So, no, it's play, it's play time does, is accurate. I, I don't know where I read 40 minutes. I swear I read 40 minutes somewhere, if not maybe the itch.io, I, I have no idea. But, we need to find out... I'll watch the trailer and see if there's a hint, then, on what there is to do, because the only way to possibly get the other achievements alone together and don't be a stranger would perhaps be if I replay it and something different happens. We'll see. Alright, well, I will play it one more time, just to see if I see any different... Or something different happens, anything really. That's a beautiful boss. No. Here we go. Different conversations if I keep interacting with the door of who I talk to. I'm gonna assume the most important one then being the w person with the baby. Alright, this will be the one clue at least I do to try to get one of the different endings. I'm not sure if it would be able to be initiated on all of them. I'll leave the doors alone that aren't numbered, but the final door, usually if you deliver the last tape, then you can't interact with the door because it'll uh, it'll fade to black. So I think what I'll do is I'll do 96, like relatively first and not last, because it means we could be missing something out. I tried... On the first day, I tried interacting with every door um, after delivering the tapes. None of them responded. Okay. Because what you have to imagine then is most people would play the game, obviously, and go from top to bottom on the list. But that means the door 96 is least likely for you to do second interactions with, meaning most people will then fade to black after delivering the final di tape to this person. So... Is there any... any interaction? Any? That means whoever we do last will inevitably not talk to us. So we'll do the rude person, because I... Actually, the rude person can be last, because they don't care what they say. They, they think they're omnipotent at some point or whatever. I don't know. Um, 88. We'll do... No, that... we'll do him last. 85. These people might have interesting things to say that might change the story. Here we go. 83. Excellent. Here we go. 85. That is important. Oh, that's that's definitely the shape. Alone together. That's the achievement. Okay, 83. Oh, the person next door. So I'll deliver to them on the... On the third day, or will I deliver it now? Hmm? Next time, I guess. Hmm. Alright, I guess we will be delivering the letter... ...next time. Alright, well, the last one is the dude I don't like. Otherwise... I don't know if the, the rude guy would have anything new to say, because achievement-wise, we have the one we're definitely doing, which shows a picture of an, en an envelope saying alone together. Don't be a stranger, though. 
I'm not sure how to get that. Since the percentage of people who have achieved that is 2.9%, so I can only hope that I get it. But it depends if that is branched off from this guy or not. Ugh. What if I give the letter to this guy or try to give the letter to someone else, I'd wonder. I'd try, but... Let's see. Nope, wasn't able to. Or at least wasn't able to in time. Into the next day, then. Alright, delivered 76. The other thing I'd have to think is with the other achievement in all my theorizing. Don't be a stranger. I'd imagine there's a possibility that the achievement is achieved after listening to every piece of conversation every person behind the door has to say. If they have, that is, anything else to say. But that would mean... You'd have to listen to the, the conversations or know who gives extra conversations. A.K. then, who not to end the day on would probably be a prerequisite. But anyways, we have to deliver the envelope definitely to 83. I'll try to deliver the envelope first, before the tape. We'll see. Man, that guy is going for the baby. 83. Nice. Have the envelope first, and then... No? Come on, man. Envelope after? Alright, how about now? I just gave you the tape, come on. It's like my last day. God damn it. I haven't been able to give it yet. I haven't been able to give it, it's gone. I haven't been able to get the envelope. He said next time I'm here and I can't give it. Do I have to slip it under the door or something? Hmm. 85 also has nothing more to say then. The same with 83. Ah, it's gonna bug me. Because I can't just slip it under the door. And they're not responding. Am I too late in giving the envelope? Or is it just something important for at the end of the game? I don't know. I still couldn't deliver the letter. Either I was meant to grab it earlier. I swear 85 wasn't one to be on the list at all. You've really done it this time, haven't you? And I still have the goddamn letter, man. That's gonna bug me. I couldn't deliver it. So either I really never could, or I have to go with it. We'll see. It's afterwards I'm gonna have to end it, because I've been playing for like 50 minutes. Let's just try to leave now. Wait, what? Tree? I don't remember seeing that tree image, but... Does any- did anything change by me having that envelope on me? It doesn't feel like it. You're meant to deliver that envelope for sure. Well... I must have messed up then. But that's in the right direction, nonetheless. We will see... I'll skip to the end of these uh, of this ending to see if I get the achievement or not. If not, that just means I got the envelope, but I somehow missed what to do. Yeah, it looks like I messed it up then. But it just means I, my theories maybe were right where Don't Be a Stranger is talking to everyone and I just simply did something wrong while doing that. Um... But the letter, I tried delivering it, it just wouldn't let me. Every time I tried to hold the letter out and hit touch the door, it just wouldn't let me, unless I was supposed to hit something else. No idea. Or I was supposed to do it on this exact same day, which was the first day, or maybe not. I don't know. But oh well. I'll just leave it there, unfortunately. Um, someone else will be able to do it. I don't want to replay the game three times or four times. <laughs> but it was enjoyable at the very least. Um... You know, it's a competent short indie horror game, eh, interesting narrative style, but it's really crazy how it does remind me again about Paratopic. It was Paratopic or Paratropic now, I can't even remember. 
Paratopic, yeah. It really, really, really makes me think of Paratopic, so I'd be curious if the developer was in any way inspired by Paratopic. Though Paratopic came out... when was it? It came out on Steam in 2018, so I guess roughly around that timeline, yeah. It's... It, weirdly... 2018 does not feel like when I played it. It feels like I played it not too long ago, but 2018, damn. That was a long time ago. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.